Carrie Tetsu here and I want to show you how to create an alpha system layer for Bakes on Mesh. Now this is not just important for an avatar I'm going to be releasing but it's important for all avatars in, in Second Life because really the goal is to make Second Life more efficient and have it run better and the best way to do that is to reduce the amount of meshes on the avatar. And Bakes on Mesh is, is a wonderful um, advancement in Second Life. So I'm here to show you how. Now I use the software Cinema 4D, but you don't have to. This can be done in Blender, this can be done in Maya, this can be done really in any other 3D software. It's just really showing you how to draw your own map and then import an alpha map inside Second Life. So what you see here is my avatar and it's wearing a dress. Now this is a very simple dress that was made and this is my avatar in the T pose. It's not rigged, it's just it's just a, just a plain in T pose avatar, but it does use the SLUV map and I'll show you where that is. So I'm going to set my dress to be transparent. The reason for that is so we can see exactly where the dress covers the avatar. So right now I'm going to go, now again, this can be done in Blender or any other tool. I'm going to go into here, which is my edit mode. And this is my lower body map. And this is my upper body map. I'm actually going to hide it. And I'm going to show you. So if you look here and I can paint, I literally I'm able to paint exactly where I see this dress is covering. So I'm painting along those edges. So I'm essentially creating a guide for me to see where the dress is covering on my avatar. So if I'm wearing pants, I would have my drawing different. I would have maybe my red line where the top of the pants are. If I had a long sleeve shirt, I would probably have a red line outlining where my wrist was. But because I'm wearing a tube dress, and this is where the tube dress is covering my avatar, this is where I'm making my outline. And I make my outline so I could set up my alpha layer. People may do this differently. They may do the alpha directly inside their 3D software. I like to make a template so I kind of have some sort of red line and guide. And then I like bringing that into Photoshop and making my alpha there. So now I'm going to show you. So that's the upper part. I made a custom texture and then my lower is right here. So you can see I can literally draw on my avatar and determine where that should be. So let's pop into Photoshop. So here we go. Here would be my upper map and here would be my lower map. So then what I do is I take this and I see where this cutout is and I create an alpha graphic from here. So here's my alpha upper, I'm sorry, here's my alpha lower and here's my alpha upper. And I save these as a PNG file to my desktop before I import them into Second Life. Hey guys, so I'm in Second Life with the new pregnant female avatar. And I'm going to show you how to add your alpha system layer with the graphics that we made earlier. So first I'm going to do is click on build upload and I'm going to upload those two graphics. So here's lower and upper. So I have upper and lower. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an alpha clothing mask. Now one thing is when you create alpha masks, sometimes the alphas you're wearing will go away. So we'll fix that if that happens. So I right click my folder and I go to new clothes, new alpha mask. And I'm not going to name it yet. I then right click that and I hit wear. All right, after I do that, I right click it and I hit edit. So you'll see now, my um, head alpha was removed, so I'm going in and I'm adding that back. So here I am, and I click lower alpha, 
and I select my lower alpha dress and I click upper alpha and I select my upper alpha dress. And again, these are the graphics that we just made earlier. So if I open them, you can see this is exactly what we worked on a second ago. Now I'm going to save this and I'll just call it tube dress alpha. Okay. Now, even though I'm wearing it, you don't see it yet. And the reason you don't see it yet is because I don't have my body set to alpha blend on. So the nice thing about this HUD and avatar we built is that it automatically will do that for you. So what I mean by that is if I edit my avatar and I select face, alpha mode is set to none. When alpha mode is set to none, you will not see bakes on mesh alpha transparencies. But you don't have to worry about that because we have it set up in the HUD for you already. So right now I'm wearing the tube alpha dress. If I click my HUD, and here you'll see alpha mode, top, bottom, and belly. I click this, I click this, and I click this. Now the alpha is cut out exactly where my dress is going to cover up. And now this is really valuable because before with all bodies, we have to go in and individually remove, the user has to remove individual pieces of the mesh, which is very tedious. This takes that away, that work that the user no longer has to do. And all they have to do is wear a simple alpha, basically a simple alpha system layer, and then they wear their clothing and there is zero poke through because this is not poke through, this is just a graphic, but zero poke through because the alpha layer was created custom to where the dress covers the body. I'll show you more about how the HUD works in the pregnancy in the next video. Thanks guys.